we can add that on. Stay here with each other um, around communication. Now we're keeping each other plugged in so that we're all aware of the work that's going on across our various areas of the county so that we know the tools and are alert to how it's expected we're using the tools, but also can talk about how we actually are using the tools, anything that's working well, uh, things that may be able to work better for us, and to planfully um, engage just around how we keep each other connected. We're investing more and more, you know, as we go deeply into our strategic work, and making certain that uh, all of us have that shared leadership around all of the work. Um, so I'd ask Ryan to go through the topics with us and um, to collect our thoughts. I would say that we'll have plenty of opportunity to discuss this. Maybe we want to listen to the tools first and I'll ask questions if there needs to be some clarification. But as Ryan completes overviewing the tools with us and some additional information he'll share with us, then we really want to focus on the three questions that are on the second page of your handout. As you think through and as the tools are being shared, just think about how we make certain of these tools are effective, as we said, but also how can we use our aids? How do we, how do we want to? Uh, is there anything that needs to change? Be thinking about that to ensure that they're a part of that effective communication process and they can most effectively serve us in keeping us informed and also that's a, a uh, two-way uh, process of information so how can they be most effective in that space um, and what if anything isn't on the list is missing in the discussion that we already do or that we should do so with that, I'll ask Brian to go through briefly what the tools are, how we use them today, and share any additional information so we can have our discussion. Thanks, Madam Chair. No changes to this document from when we had our uh, strategic planning day. This just got bumped to today instead to make some more time. Mm -hmm. um, I'll also point out it's kind of weird to sit in this room with yeah. nobody else here. Right. It's only during <laughs> yeah. performance evals and job interviews when those types of things happen in this room, right. so I'm feeling weird. But yeah, get over that. Nobody cares. So. <laughs> <laughs> it really ties back here. You know, yeah. um, and actually, we got mad. Yeah. There is a lot of work going on. And on the staff side, what I would point out is this information is actually coming to our next senior management team meeting. So I'm sharing the same information that's getting shared here or anything we do with it with our senior leaders to make sure that we're all on the same page. So I'm going to reference the second page of the document that's titled Staying Connected to the Work Across Ramsey County, or the back of the first page. It looks like the grid. Yep, right there, where Christian Reinhardt is. Um, and I sat down and, in a relatively short order, put down communication method and intended purpose and ripped this list off. I mean, it didn't take more than 15 minutes, and it shouldn't take more than 15 minutes. Um, and really what this was was a chance that we realized with the chair, just to touch base on this, we both have a new commissioner that's recently joined us, but it's also a good hygiene check for everybody. And this is one of the topics we talked about at the end of last year, is how do we remain connected to the work as a collective? And in thinking that through, um, I think it's important just to do a good hygiene check and look into some of that. So I'm gonna briefly just walk through this and share what's here, and then um, as the chair said, I'll leave the time for discussion. So board meetings, there's agendas, com commissioner updates, and county connections that all happen on those first three items. Um, on the right-hand side, I'm not telling you something you don't already know. Um, I will say under commissioner updates, this was a piece that was discussed a little bit in the run-up, and the chair uh, thought about this. You know, How do you define a commissioner update? This is the first time I've ever written that down, <laughs> and so I would highlight that for you a little bit. District-specific updates of value to the full board or updates of work for which a commissioner has identified lead for the board is kind of um, the rubric by which I, I throw something out to you all, but when asked. County connections, uh, I mentioned the three areas where we've been doing those connections. That seems to have been resonant over the last year. Um, individual collective acts of excellence, advancing the strategic plan, timely issues impacting the county's work. Then we fall into other Tuesday items. The top of this list is all Tuesday related. Board workshops, which is really about seeking discussion on guidance on new or implementation or policy plans. And um, I, I talk to leaders a lot about the idea that a workshop is often on a path toward board action, right? Um, and so a lot of things we're coming in here for to do is this is a chance to really unpack that. Whether the board action occurs in two weeks or six months is kind of dependent upon the topic. But um, continuing to work with leaders to be as clear on that as possible when coming in the room with the board 
can be a useful process. Then there are the staff-led and board-led discussion sessions, both added this past year, um, and are very similar other than who initiates it. A board-led discussion session would be initiated by a commissioner in partnership with the chair to say, um, I have a topic that I think my colleagues and I need to discuss, and we need a venue to do it. Can we make that space available on a Tuesday? They're not meant to be a lot of staff prep. They're, you know, maybe a page like this is actually a pretty good example. It's a quick page, but the topic gets set up by a commissioner and it provides an opportunity for this room to have a discussion. A staff-led discussion is similar. It would be, um, I frequently work with staff and they will say, you know, like trying to get in initial thoughts from the board that are not as concrete as what would come through a workshop. But it is a way to stay connected, to say, you know, I really want to feel out a couple of potential paths here before we get down the road too far. In the past, we used to call it all workshops. I don't think it's really all that new. What I have found though from a leadership tool perspective is it's helpful to me when I'm sitting down with deputies and department heads to say, are you trying to formulate a discussion session where you're way on the front end and you want some initial board input, maybe later you'll have a workshop on your way to a board action, or is this you're already down a road? And it's important to get clarity because I do think one of the times that we screw up the most when we're not clear on that, that can lead to frustration about where are we at in this process and what's the role of a policy making board and how does that all fit, right? Um, and so staff led discussions, um, the county manager brings that to the board chair and makes suggestion on, hey, I think there's a topic here for a staff discussion, do you wanna do it? From a calendaring side, before I go any farther, I'll just say there's a reserve spot every month on our calendar with Janet for a board led discussion session if a topic comes up. So we do hold a spot per month. Um, those got used and didn't get used over the first year of having them. It is also the one spot where we let our foot off the gas a little if it's been a really busy month where you have a Tuesday afternoon that's open. And even with the change to the um, committee of the holes meeting around the service team alignment, we're still keeping a one a month hold for a discussion session. Mm -hmm. Quarterly lunch and learns, we talked about those at the, at the workshop strategy day. I'm not gonna spend any more time. Then just then we get into more of like the weekly and regular churn, I would call it, of how the organization moves outside of Tuesdays. Uh, obviously, the county manager meets with the chair weekly for a one-on-one. -on -one. A lot of that focuses on the board meeting and workshop plus the strategic, operational, and budgetary topics. You know, the easiest way for me to say it is I keep a running list of agenda topics of budget, operational, strategy that cut across all seven commissioners. Then I add a section around workshop alignment pieces. Um, that's specific or um, around Tuesdays that really relates more to the chair and the organizational components um, and that's really the difference between the weekly and the monthly um, oh I heard that were you saying something or just was it cracking the cap just okay take a drink. <laughs> obviously in the monthly one-on-one -on -one commissioner topics operational budgetary strategic and then there's always the section on there of commissioner topics as well at the top of that list I try to keep them as consistent as possible across my OneNote agenda. It's always a little hard because if you meet with someone during the first week of a month versus the last week, I mean, there's just this certain part of fluidity that happens, um, which is why the weekly meeting with the chair is important to say, are we missing someone along the way in terms of keeping people connected on topics? And I try and use Tuesdays on the side for that as well. Then you found the more informal spots, as needed phone, email, text, um, I think these can go one of two ways. It could be me calling you or an exec team member calling you or the opposite way in reverse. I often say exec team and not deputy. This is a, this is a bump spot for our organization. I would just highlight this for you. I get in trouble when I say deputy because I offend three people that spend a lot of time with me on Wednesdays at our executive team. Because our CFO, our policy director, and our HR director would not, they're not deputies, but they do have the ability to serve in the acting county manager role under our structure. They do report directly. I just share that with you as a, there's no perfect words, but words do matter and I can hurt people's feelings pretty quickly. And I, I would actually encourage from the way in which you do your work as a board, all exec team members function at the same level in engagement with the county board. Um, and so that's really, you know, to address whatever comes up in the moment. I mean, things come up all the time. And I'm gonna pass around in a minute. This was a request that's come back to me, just the current contact list of like, what, what are the contacts for Ramsey County? And I wanna share this so y'all have it. Um, and so my biggest ask is, please include the county manager and the exec team member, and then the rest of this is the department heads. And I, I do think if you know which department is relevant, it's, it's great to have them included so we're all in the loop right out of the gate. Because if you don't put us all in the loop, the third person's getting pulled in the loop on the next email anyway. My biggest ask is that when the department head gets engaged, we have the other levels engaged. Otherwise, the issue that came up today about how is EGCI connected to the rest of the org, 
plays out in my world every single day where I find out a week later and someone's offended that I didn't bring them in on something to help serve the commissioner's need. And literally I found out a week after and it's like, I'm sorry, I didn't know. And it, it often happens from a place of like unintentioned, people are in a hurry and stuff. So to the extent that you can just keep me on the email, I will make sure to play traffic cop. That's like my biggest thing I can often do. And if I see everyone's connected really well, I just delete the email and let everybody solve the issue. I mean, I have no interest in becoming the answerer of all emails. Um, and staff have gotten good at trying to do that. It's just they don't, they don't always know, right? Like a request came in recently for a speaking thing and they thought they were answering it really well. And then Lee said, there's a huge financial component. Yeah. Nobody bothered to ask me, you know? And like, I get it. it and it was, it's a completely innocent thing, but it's like, man, I could have really helped with the train wreck on that part. Uh, and then the last two, in the community and in the news for Ramsey County goes out on Fridays. I would really ask between you and your office as a whole that you're checking in on that because it does have the news clippings from the past week. And it's a good reminder of what happened. Over, I, I really spend time looking at that every week. Some of you read every article and catch them anyway and are always like in a constant text with me on that. But if you don't, it's a real good digest. And in this looking ahead, we spend now 15 minutes at every executive team meeting reviewing upcoming community meetings to make sure if there's any sort of like commissioner awareness piece, are we including those on the list? It's helping us with our own hygiene, but I want it to be a tool that's useful for all of you as well. John always says, we're not trying to list things like Skate with Santa. Mm -hmm. um, those are on our calendar. The Ramsey County calendar has all the events, and so that's not a bad spot to be checking weekly as well. But it is the things like uh, a parks meeting, about a community open house on a, a new project. We want to make those highlight. Things like the WIB, we choose not to list. It's a regular standing meeting. The board has made an appointment. We don't feel the need. So there is this like gray area we're working through. It's an ongoing dialogue. I just want to let you know we're being really thoughtful about trying to do that. And then finally, emails to the board from county leadership. I both think these are a really important tool, and I'm also worried that the, um, you guys get inundated with emails, and I know a lot of them don't always get read, and I worry about that, and yet I don't really know what else to do in the age of digital communication. And so if nothing else, it provides a record. It is a spot where I am hopeful that your staff help you sometimes in the seeing of emails, and that's a spot I'd actually ask for help is how to do that. You know, um, we want to provide more context, and I'm actually at times trying to limit the amount of flow coming your way, not because I'm fearful of it, and I could actually turn that dial up if it's something everybody wants to do. I get concerned because sometimes then we lose the important from the sort of important. And I try to make sure when we send an email, you know it's something you gotta read. Mm -hmm. But yet, that's a feathering of the gas penalty. So I'll hand out the um, full contact list. It's updated right now. It has the alternates or cell phone numbers. I, they're all publicly available, but we don't share them broadly everywhere. So I'd ask you to be judicious with that. I hope there's a helpful list. I'll listen to anything else you got, and thanks for letting me walk through it. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, I have a couple of books up. Commissioner Max Castillo, Commissioner McGuire. I just want to add on that last piece on the emails. Yeah. In my case, I would rather have too much information than not enough. Mm -hmm. uh, and it could easily be solved with, you know, if there's labeling, Outlook has great, you know, uh, exclamation, this is really important, or a FYIO, you know, in the subject line of for your info only or for your awareness is a really easy way to get around it. But I would, personally, I would rather have more information than not enough so that I hate getting caught flat-footed or someone asking a question where I'm like, uh, what? And I recently had this come up with I'll talk to you offline. A really big thing that I was like, uh. So, so that, you know, personally, that's how I would rather handle it. And in that, I would say, you briefly in your opening, um, Commissioner Carter mentioned about our aides. And I know we all use our aides differently, but for me, uh, my aide is really my right hand. Mm -hmm. and, so, and we're gonna bounce things off each other anyway, with the exclusion of things that are confidential, of course, right? But, but we're gonna bounce things off each other anyway. And so I would personally like to see our aides included in this conversation and in information flows. Because if, you know, at some point as we're developing them as individuals in their careers as well, right, we have an opportunity to grow and to give some delegated positional authority on my behalf in my lane, right? I'm still responsible for anything they do or don't do, but you know, that way. So if there's a way to include our aides in this communication as well, it would be really helpful. CB board and staff, I would just add, like, I want, I need to make sure, I notice some department heads list you all as individuals. CB board and staff is the official uh, email 
handle, I always use it, and I think that's part of making sure your aides should be receiving emails through that. And I'll, I'll work on that on my end. I agree with that. Just to follow up on that, I agree with including our aides. They are making, they're, they are, the, Melissa is my right arm also, and she, you know, she gets brought in, and, and I blame her if I'm flat footed too. I'm like, how did we not know about this? You know, so um, she wants to know too. Um, just on the on the group email, just because we were on this, on the emails to the board, I would rather have more than not enough, and I think the labeling is important. I never know how to reply. Like sometimes I'll read it, but I don't think everyone needs to know that I saw it. So then I think, you know, I I want to I want to respond to you and the and the appropriate person, Perfect. but I don't need everyone else to you know keep getting all these you know to get seven or eight responses on one email. So I'm torn on how to how to reply. Like you know, sometimes I see oh other colleagues read it, and I, I never assume that they haven't read it if I don't see a response, because I think, well, they just did an individual reply, or they, you know, just didn't reply at all, which is usually my case. I read it so fast, I'm like, okay, good, got that. And I forget that I should acknowledge, you know, that I got it. But anyway, I'm just torn on that. Your suggestion works well. Mm -hmm. So. I mean, of making sure, it's good if you have any follow-up with me, it's always good, because I can follow up on the way, and the person that wrote it, it's always good to follow up there, but. Yeah. yeah. So, but it's hard to pick those out when you've got the reply all or reply only. So I guess I can just stand. You can also, like, I'm sorry. No, no, tell me. Tell me. Yeah, no, a lot of times we get those. Yeah. And I'll just reply back to, say, I want to right. reply back to who subbed it. But then also I always try to make sure Ryan sees everything, right? Okay, so you just so add him. So you can him. do that. You just reply you singly and then add him to the list. Yeah. 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 Okay, I mean, I yeah. guess, yeah. Yep. One more step. So okay, but I'll try to I'll try to, I'll just reply individually um, because I, I I don't want all I, you know I sometimes want you all to know I saw it but I sometimes don't want to think that we all get to have seven responses on each of the emails so but I would say more is um, more is better than less on, on letting us know things and I'll whip through them faster if I think oh yeah that's something I really need to know and sometimes it's something I think I already knew and I didn't because I read it more closely. So, um, yeah, just anything in the subject line that's going to, you know, new information or something. Do you want me to ask my other questions now or should we stay on this topic? I have, I have other questions. Okay, other let's areas. stay on the communication pieces. Okay. okay. All right, so should I go to Commissioner Reinhardt and then come back to you? Later? Yeah, I'm, yeah I, have other, I have other comments. Um, yeah, I mean, knowing who to reply to. Basically, my rule of thumb is if it's a staff person that's done something really good, I want everybody to know that they have been acknowledged because it yeah. Yeah. makes more sense. Um, if it's just you, I usually will say thanks. <laughs> yeah. So I will acknowledge it, but I don't, I mean, it's, it's really about what yeah. it is. Yep. Um, but I do think that when a staff person does something really cool that, um, so make that yeah, acknowledgement. That's but um, anyhow, so I really, really appreciate this. <laughs> um, but, I, but I also want to make sure that, you know, I mean, it, it is difficult sometimes to know, I mean, now we've got the list of who it is, but does the, do the deputies always want to know everything that's going into their department? Sometimes yes and sometimes no. Um, and so I guess that's part of what the communication has to yeah. happen on that end too. That if you're telling us that we should copy you and copy the department head, when I send something to Zach, and I ask a question, Zach Hansen, um, and I ask a question, if I should copy you, then I'll do that. Um, but, you know, does, I, I mean, Dr. Allwood, I don't know that he really, I know he doesn't really want all that stuff. So can I so I mean it's hard for us to yeah. know okay yeah. who really wants this and who doesn't want to be bothered with it. I appreciate that. I feel like that's my life every day too. Mm -hmm. And yet I and then I get kind of like I get it from all sides when every day in a different way. So if <laughs> if the deputies were here, I think what they would not say out loud until they're with me the next day. What they would say is no, we need to know because the minute the so if the conversation goes badly somewhere along the way or a non-response happens, non-responsivity happens when deputies aren't involved. That's what I'll also say. Deputies will never let non-responsivity happen, and it is the biggest frustration of people in those jobs, having been in one, when you later on are like, oh my gosh, something didn't get responded to in a timely manner, I could have interrupted that, right? Because I can help make sure it happens. And so, 
as long as you keep me, if you went to Zach though and CC'd me, I will make sure to deal with the, making sure Paul or deputies are involved. You don't have to worry about all of that protocol. I'm just sharing like, I will make sure he's involved. Even if he hits delete, then he at least knew. Is it on what? Oh, it's, well, no, I wanted to go through a couple mm -hmm. things here. Go ahead. Um, but anyhow, but it's, and then there are some times where it just doesn't make sense. You, you don't, you don't really need to know. Yeah. And so. On um, this I point, may I also insert, there, there are some regular communications, you know, based on our responsibilities. And I think it, it's clear that we have, uh, for example, Victoria and Solid Waste Management, you know, a regular communication around her assignments. And so it's difficult to copy you on absolutely everything. I, I think we want to be clear about whether you're talking about absolutely everything. Because I think, for example, I know I'm in touch with Lynn, and now Commissioner McDonald will be about regular things that are happening in the workforce area. So are you talking about absolutely everything? I think, you know, we're just trying to be clear. Yeah, and I'm not going to send absolutely everything. Okay. So I will, so, I will, yeah. I will say yeah. this. I will you say know, there are if there's some, some issue that needs to be followed up on, mm -hmm. that's different. Right. Right. I, I, will, I will ask for the idea of recognizing, though, that things often become issues when we're not connected out of the gate. I do not send an email in this organization without tying in the deputy or the person who reports directly to me to anyone, ever, period. No matter how big or small, I always include them. I've had to do that. I understand the challenge it comes, but I, what I, I found, this is just me talking for me, I would screw up and sometimes make the wrong judgment call and later on <laughs> have a deputy saying like, yes, it started benign, but then a week later it wasn't as benign as you might have thought it was, and now I'm playing catch up. And like, so I, I've gotten in the habit of just doing that. I sent a, a kudos to two people yesterday and I put both deputies on it across the two areas. So that's how I approach it, but I'm not gonna, like I don't wanna, too far into it. I think you okay. all have judgment. I understand okay. that. Okay. Gotcha. So judgment is important. Okay. Well, and is it on this point? Ahead, but I want because it's I'm on this <laughs> point. Because it's on this point. If we don't, okay. if we don't catch it, you know, it just gets a feel. So well, I've got just, more on this point too. Oh, okay. he's, he's really wanting to talk. So okay. That's good. <laughs> well, Go I, ahead. I just want to share how I do it because I do yeah. do Brian and the deputy on everything, mm -hmm. right? And. You know, listening to everybody on the communication stuff and the, mm -hmm. what I heard from commissioners is more is better. Mm -hmm. It's it's the same on the management thing. side too, right? Whether whether it matters mm -hmm. or not, um, if we're saying more is better, we got to understand from their perspective. At least they get the option to see it or not see it, and and I think to Ryan's point, making sure that there's always a response, right? I'm not, I will all figure out what we need Thank to do. Thank you for helping to tease that. But, just trying to make sure we're putting ourselves in the same spot that we're asking them to put themselves in. Well, sure and I know. guess the bottom line is we, we are professionals. We were elected to do this job, and we can figure out what we want to share or not if we feel like there's something we don't want to do. So, um, but yeah, trying to keep, I, I have a tendency to do more um, of copying um, the deputies and the county manager than not. But some of the day-to-day -day things, I'm sorry, I just, you know, hey, I need that. <laughs> need a presentation. Um, so I think it's just how we do it. I wanted to follow up on the um, assistance. Um, there, there's two different ways you can reach out to us. And, uh, well, as far as a group. There's county board and staff, but there's county board and assistance. So if it's not, you know, if it's truly a policy issue, and you really want to make sure that our assistants are tied into that. Um, I mean, I I want the information to go to Darren. There have been times when it's like, why were you left out of this? Yeah. Is it is he not on the con so I, this he is, is one okay. includes secretaries and one doesn't. Right. And so but when it's a policy issue especially, um, they need to be part of it because the, when we talk about outward services, forward facing or public facing services. That's what our, regardless of how you use your assistant, they are the face right. if you're not here. Right. And so um, them getting caught without knowing something's going on um, is really difficult. Um, so I we need to make sure. I add to that, if I may, just add that secretary. So for instance, we voted on the refugee stuff. Our secretaries received calls where yes. people were swearing and insulting mm -hmm. them. And if they're not prepared to like, I didn't know that was happening today. 
So there's some areas that we need to make sure that they're also just engaged on big things because they're answering the phone, right? Or you know who to call that kind of thing. So well, there's got to be those two are a little different. Yeah, they're, they're a little, little, little bit different. different but the fact of the matter is, is a lot of stuff hasn't gone to either. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And so just making sure that that communication takes place because. Um, I rely on him being able to answer the phone, and Debbie, Debbie yeah. takes a lot of it because of, especially with her position as lead, yeah. mm -hmm. um, she takes a lot, and, and that's right for so. The other thing that I wanted to say, um, and that is about um, what commissioners do and, and subjects that we bring up, I think one of the things, one of the reasons that we have been as successful as we have in getting things done, whether it's at the legislature or um, policy issues um, is because we are very careful about making sure that whatever we take a position on has a county, there's a relationship or a connection to the county. And I know that everything that happens in life can be connected to the county. But I think we all know the difference between what is really, how can we relate this to the county so that it makes it more powerful um, rather than I have a really strong feeling about this and I want the county to take a position on it. And the one that I, that I have talked to when people are trying to understand that, and I think it's important, is when we had the voter ID and the marriage amendment, constitutional amendments at the same time. We took a pit position on the uh, voter ID one that made a huge difference in this state. When we put the money, when we attached the money to it, and suddenly people were going, wait, that's gonna cost us money, and what are we getting for it? Um, and then other counties and communities started bringing that up as well, and I think it made a difference, because it was something that was gonna cost us. Um, we didn't take a position on the marriage amendment. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I have very strong feelings on it, <laughs> but it wasn't directly related to the county. And again, I know that you can make arguments that it was, but when you talk about direct connection to something. And so I think that that's important. I hope that we continue to do that because we can really, by targeting, we can get more done. Um, I, I really dislike um, when I see, and not, not in Ramsey County really, but across the country, you know, California, you know, Los Angeles City Council or whatever, they take a position on something that has nothing to do with them, but they make headlines. It's like, you know what, if we can't do something with it, then let's move on to something we can. And, and that's really important to me, so I'm just putting it out there as far as topics. Let's, when we take a position, um, it's not just about what it looks like in the paper, and we all know that, but it's about what can we do about it. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for all of the comments. And I yeah, think everybody has more stuff, but I, I mean, know, other people haven't people talked yet. Yeah, I mean, I still have a, mm -hmm. I have and we'll get back. Yeah, right. we can get so back to yeah. you, you know, this is also new, so it's hard to say mm -hmm. what can be done. I know for me, my general approach previously with teams that I've supervised is I want to know when there's a problem so I can get ahead of it, and I want to know when there's an opportunity to advocate for you. So especially when there's meetings or other opportunities for me to be involved and to be present and to inform based on what I know from my community. An example of that is the, the flooding meeting that happened last week. I found out about that from Facebook. Uh, so um, luckily yes. I, I was able to reach out to Martha Cave and have a conversation with them and make some suggestions um, on what that meeting could turn into, which it ultimately did. Um, but also making sure that I was able to be present and to, to provide some context to the community who, who was there. Um, so that's, again, one of those opportunities. And I've really appreciated when I have ha have had the opportunity to advocate for people in the community and represent. So being able to come out to the Aquatic Invasive the Species event in my first week, being able to go to the Tamarack Nature Center Awards and volunteer recognition dinner, like those opportunities to engage and to, to honor the work that's being done, I really appreciate. So any of those opportunities. 
Um, in terms of my A's, please copy Sheena on everything because, you know, yeah, I'll, I read every email. I don't typically respond unless I think it's important. If, if someone wants to know with I, whether or not I've read something, they should put a read receipt on it. <laughs> <laughs> but then having Sheena read it too, it's just the yeah. two of us, and then she'll call yeah. attention to details that I might have missed and vice versa. So being able to do that and, yeah, absolutely being or I pick someone who could be my second set of eyes on everything. So that's mm -hmm. that's my expectation for her role. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And you know, as I look through the list, and I do recall that you had something else in job. As I look through the list and I see Ramsey County in the community, you know, I wonder if I pay as much attention, you know, on as regular a basis to Ramsey County in the community as I should. And maybe I missed some things, you know, that I think I didn't hear about. And maybe not. You know, I don't know if the flooding meeting was there, for example. But as we look across uh, this, this list, keep in mind if there's something that's not there that you think we do use or something that's not there that you think we could use. And with that, I'm going to turn to Mary Jo and then my fail stepped into the room and may have some comments. I'll let you get settled mm -hmm. there. So first of all, I just love this kind of a meeting. So. I love this whole list of things that let us talk to each other. I think there's um, there, there's just not enough time, I think, in the day for us to com communicate to each other. So I really appreciate appreciate us having this meeting. And I want to say something just about our board updates at at, meet, at the board meetings. And so I think we've been, um, you know, I've always felt like I wanted to share a lot about what was going on. And, and so I've, I'm, I'm appreciating that we're getting maybe a little clarity around what it is we get to share and uh, or what we should share and not get to. I, I'll, I'll take, I'll do whatever I want, I know, but I want to feel like it's okay to to do that. And I, I just want to say in, in this group that I think that's a really important part for me. I actually love all of your sharing. So you can share as much as you want in, in, in the board meeting that I'm in. And I don't think we should apologize for taking more time. And even you, um, Ryan, I, I, I don't think you need to limit it to three. I mean, if there's more than three things that went on in the county, you should talk about them. I mean, I, I, I feel bad when we're always saying, we're in a hurry, we can't, you know, I, 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 don't, I don't like it that we seem to be in a hurry all the time. We gotta keep this down, we gotta keep this limited, we gotta do this. This is my job, I mean, this is all of our jobs. So I would, you know, I know we, we don't want to go on endlessly, and I don't think we will. I think we'll all still use good judgment, but um, I just think it's it's really important for us to hear from each other, you know, what we're all doing. I think the public likes it. When I go to city council meetings, I love to hear their updates. I mean, I always try to stay for the end, because that's when I get to hear what's going on in the community. So um, anyway, just wanted to put that out there that I, um, I know we don't have unlimited hours in the day, but I do think that part of what, what we can really do is to share with our, each other and with our communities what, what is going on. So I just wanted to, um, to, put, that, to put that out there. And, um, and then uh, as many workshops as, as we can have, and maybe we need to catch some of these a little bit earlier than others. Like now, just water issues are becoming this really big deal especially in both Nicole's and my area. So maybe we need to have a work, you know, workshop on where are we going with water? Because we want to have a big community meeting around water, like watershed, park, you know, soil and water. How are they all coordinated? And maybe, you know, we just um, need to do that. And I know we're going to probably have a workshop on library board. But I would say workshops, the earlier the better for me on that, too, that I, um, I think that information sharing is, um, is important. And so I'm really glad that we're now trying to take, keep all of Tuesday uh, for, for information sharing, for, for opportunities for us to come together. I learned so much from all of you. As you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a learn, that's how I learn, is from talking about things and from hearing from all of you. So I really miss that if we don't have it. So mm -hmm. as many as we can have, I love. So thank you. Thank you. Are you not allowed to tease you then? You can tease me. <laughs> oh, you can tease me we still. Enjoy it. <laughs> I You're love so it. funny sometimes. Uh, you sure take it? I love it. <laughs> we have just been going around talking about what's on the list here and trying to give a perspective as to whether these things are useful and effective <clears throat> for us. 
uh, noting anything that we think works particularly well or doesn't, needs to be included, how we use our aids, and if there are any questions about uh, what goes to them, what shouldn't, your thoughts are welcome. You know, through my tenure, we've always had different, every, this always changes, right? When you have new members come mm -hmm. and go. And so we got to accommodate everybody. Mm -hmm. I, I'm comfortable, I mean, I, it's not an issue with me, I'll be honest with you. Uh, whatever works for the board is good for me, and I'll let you know when it isn't, <laughs> better than trying to say I need this. Uh, and then what was the question about, told me about assistance or aids? What we, used? we have been sharing the necessity of getting information to our aides in communication it comes from the DCMs or from the county manager. Yeah. So just making sure that Well, I think are. that's important because mm -hmm. I that would our aides be as informed mm -hmm. as possible too. Thank you. You know, as I look at the am I missing somebody? Okay, because I wanna just share a few thoughts. As I look at the list, as as I said, it's it's a thoughtful list and I thank you for mm -hmm. taking the time to just put down um, what is already there for us to use. And as I said, I look at it and tune in in a different way when I see this list here than I normally have. Um, the example I gave was the community news, Ramsey County and the community. Knowing that that's a place where I should be monitoring or asking Matt to monitor, you know, so that I'm aware of those things that I think I might miss. So that's a cue to me. Then there's some areas here too. Well, there's some things that aren't here. For example, I think we do have the month to month <coughs> or the monthly meetings with all commissioners are there. And I think that in those meetings, we have the opportunity, uh, the county manager does, to share special areas of responsibility. And so, for example, I'm on workforce um, development and Ryan and I may have more conversation about that than perhaps has been had with you all and now uh, with Jim because he will be our workforce person. So there's conversation that we have there or transit, you know, um, in those areas that we're more engaged in. And that may be an opportunity for us to feel as though we don't have as much information about one or another area. And I just want to tease that out because I, I do see the monthly meetings, but I think there are other leadership specific meetings that happen just mm -hmm. by virtue of the fact that those responsibilities exist between us. Um, yeah. So we also had proposed a change. Our old standing committees are going away. We're yeah. aligning with the board. How do you see that playing out? I mean, are we at the next step? Uh, so we, we are moving toward that and on the fourth we should have a resolution before us just to line up as we said those health and wellness or uh, EGCI service team responsibilities and we'll have a chair and vice chair the function of that is to chair the meetings you know basically mm -hmm. to to be the person that sits in here and calls that meeting and runs that meeting but we'll all be there yeah. because we're committees of the whole so that doesn't that isn't a place for information to slip through. But you're right, there are some specific committees. For example, there was a um, responsibility for workforce, you know, that will be encompassed then within the service team. Although we still have someone who is responsible for workforce, we'll all get a broader understanding of what's going on in that area because it's within the EGCI and other you know, committees that have in the past not met. But those which have, for example, um, our HRA, you know, it is a statutory committee that will continue to meet as a committee. And again, we're there, all of us in that meeting. So we are not assuming all of those within our uh, new structure Regional Rail, you know, will be another example, of course, of a committee that is a committee of a whole that continues to have a chair. Yes. I, I'm sorry. I, I, I still have a little time, but I got to get to the state capital in a little bit. Uh, the uh, 
what I have tried to do, and this has to do with the scheduling. So I, I've tried to spread the work of the transit across the board. So the only, for example, goal line I've been on that for 10 years, we're coming to a conclusion. River review is, is I've initiated yeah. that. So, but I've tried to spread it to other commissioners. But sometimes it's hard to, and I try to get, uh, uh, to use that forum on TV because it's good for the commission, but it's also for whoever picks it up in the public, because that's such. Mm -hmm. yeah. But sometimes the scheduling of the, the regional rail authority, you know, when I say I, I tell the staff, they says, well, you know, it's booked till for eight weeks, kind of thing. So in terms of communication or getting that information out, because it's really about in forming, uh, uh, mm -hmm. it's really about staff yeah. coming up and, in, and providing information yeah. to everybody. It, and I think we'll, you know, certainly we'll continue to have regional rail meetings. We also have that. No, but it's up. like the scheduling, sometimes I think it's key that you get certain information. Yeah. Like yeah. Goal Line, for example, right. you know, we, <coughs> Uh, while we got a lot of no prejudice, we also went down in ranking. That looks like a negative. Uh, people bring it up to you. You, you wouldn't know, know. I would right. know, Jim would know, but the rest of you wouldn't yeah. know how to deal with that, right. answer that question. And so you want to make sure that we that all you have guys that, information. that information. And it will take one of these forms if it's not in a regional rail, it'll be in a Well, the frequent, the timeliness is yeah. the issue. Yeah. I'm not so right. much concerned right. about having a meeting for the I sake of you. a meeting. But the information mm, needs yes. to be spread out. Right. So that's what's helpful about seeing this full list. It may be in a meeting, it may be in a communication. You know, it could be that we have a workshop on that. But the decisions on that get to be made between the person who has the responsibility, the county manager. You know, I certainly appreciate as chair being able to be there as well in that. Regard. Well, sure. and the new the new structure for the committees is really outside of or in addition to, in addition to. because HRA and Regional Rail are statutory. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And the budget committee and legislative committee right. need to happen, and so that. It just happened right. that it left the others to um, to make sure that everybody is chairing something. And but even, I don't. Yeah. So just that to me um, just makes a lot of sense, and it will be an opportunity to share more. Mm -hmm. Like I mean, yeah. it doesn't always right. have to be at the county. I mean, right. some right. things are, but right. some things are very specific to a certain team. Right. That right. we can have that discussion there. Yeah. Um, I'm really looking forward to that happening and it's it's different because in some of the committees um, well I mean legislative and, and budget and the two statutory ones I mean it's about the business the the committee structure that we have of the committees of the whole for the that are connected to the service team is yes there's business going on there but it's more about making sure we're all connected right. and the work that's being done there and really what this comes down to, and with communication, the biggest thing is don't surprise yeah. us. Mm -hmm. And so you shouldn't have had to find this on Facebook. If, it was, if our staff was involved in setting something up, we should know. Mm -hmm. And if there's something where people want us to, if they want, okay, Commissioner Fretham, this is in your area, um, could you come to it? but letting the rest of us know that it was happening. I mean, I serve on the Clean Water Council. I've got a lot of things oh, that we could bring yeah, to the table yeah, from that. Want to, right? um, but I guess, it's like you said, can you have too much information if it's something that, hey, it's not in my area, but at least I know it's happening? That's fine, but we, there's been way too many surprises coming from meetings mm -hmm. that are taking okay. place or conversations that are happening that we, if, if a reporter could call us and ask us, we better have an answer instead of going, mm -hmm. I have no idea what that's about. So that's what this is about. I, I would just ask, and maybe we just set a policy or practice, maybe not policy, but a practice in place that if, if there is a Ramsey County sponsored event happening in one of our districts that we get a heads up. Whether we attend or not, or there's an expectation, just knowing that it's happening. We are doing that. Right. That is the policy right now. And here's the one thing I want to say. The calendar, I'm concerned that we're not all checking the calendar weekly online, that 
curates all the events and the Ramsey County between, I need to go back and check on this one whether it was posted correctly I'm not saying it was or it wasn't but we are actually talking through these types of events with every single service team every single week for 15 minutes right now I assure you I hear you that's yeah. I just want to acknowledge yeah. that Thank you for yeah. Yeah. I agree. I'm I agree. it is very important I so think the question is on us to go to that calendar to see it. well for the full so list of everything pushed. in the calendar is there but in the Ramsey County in the community the next seven-day outlook is being emailed out on Fridays at the same time we're emailing the look at the clips from the last seven days that was okay. in response to the concern last year which is why we have the policy around specifically bringing in if there's something happening in district. And I'll go one step farther, that normally we want to try and be proactive in ensuring that district, like the commissioner's aware on the side anyway, which is yeah. the part I would actually point out here is the most likely piece where it, it could I have been a follow-up piece. But I, I'm, so the biggest thing I learned as I went back and spent time with staff is I was surprised how few things are not actually getting listed. What I'm surprised by is how we're not actually using the tools of where they're being listed. Mm -hmm. And that's a sign to me if we got to, like our calendar is curating these things well. We have not, we've only found like two events so far that have slipped and been a miss. And I'm worried that we're not, I never used our calendar. I'll I, be honest, this is not, not just about that. this yeah. room. I was not going yeah. to our own calendar. Yeah, <laughs> it's was a new experience for right. me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so I just want to be clear cool. that then from our offices, we are to go to that calendar. On RamseyCounty.us, the calendar, right in the upper right. Okay, the calendar. I haven't used it either, obviously. Yep, yep. I right. wouldn't ask this question. So. Right. But it only has seven days at a time? No, the calendar goes way out. Okay. But that's why every Friday, what I would actually yeah. ask is that you are making sure you and probably your aide right. read the Ramsey County in the community email. Because yeah. wow. Skate with Santa will be in the calendar. But I'm not going to put skate with Santa right. in the in the week. I want to highlight the biggest deal things. Yeah. And Commissioner Fretham's uh, example is one that should have made that. And so if it didn't, that's one of those initial misses out of the gate. And I want to acknowledge that. Well, and part of that is like timeline wise. If it was going out a week beforehand, by that time I'd heard about it, but it had already been posted on Facebook. And that's mm -hmm. so if it gets posted, you know, three weeks ahead of time, which it really should, that's the point at which I want to hear about it. Not a week before, especially because my calendar fills up so much. Mm -hmm of being able to adjust things. So that that's one where um, a big event like that, especially when it's uh, an issue area that I, I've talked with folks mm -hmm. on those teams about extensively already, so th that that's what surprised me. Um, and to a week be missing in action. It's yeah, to not know about that, it before yeah. it got posted. And I know on their end, like they're like, well, it's really just about this small piece of it. I'm like, yeah, but you posted it as a flooding event related to Snail Lake Park. You are gonna get 100 <laughs> people showing up to talk about flooding. Yeah. So being a part of that planning process, and part of it is just that timeline thing. Like, when do I find out about it? Because a week beforehand, my calendar might be booked already, and that's really critical for me to be there. So while we appreciate that there are all these tools, you know, there's this issue of sensitivity in a commissioner um, district, that when something is happening, if you can also reach back, I think it would be helpful. Mm -hmm. I don't think any of us expects that that's going to be fail proof. So. You know, I would hope that we don't expect that's going to be fail proof because our staff will not always get to us individually when something is happening in our district. But it should be listed within these tools that we're talking about. And if we can get um, DCM, you know, our department director to be in touch with us, that would be very, very helpful. I am trying to, I'm trying to get the process to where it does become no more a churn as a part of communications involvement yeah. and regular weekly because I'm worried that when you bring in new leaders, otherwise we've been way too dependent on Greg Mack making sure he knows individual commissioner right, phone it. call yeah. and as, right. as your turnover happens at the S senior management team, what I learned is like this is actually an area where organizationally we failed to have checks in place which has led to some of this and so I want to both, mm -hmm. I want them, I want people mm -hmm. to be sensitive and on the one week piece I, I want to acknowledge that. I'm not sure one week is long enough. We could go farther out. It's no, it's no big deal on our end. We could go up. What we're trying to do is be as timely and relevant as possible, mm -hmm. yeah. and not flood like again. Yeah. So that's. I, I'm, but if we want to go farther, we could definitely do that. Mm -hmm. well, I just think it, if there's something at, at at a higher level that that's mm -hmm. happening, like I, I don't need, need need to know like the drop in discovery stations that happen at Tamarack. Right. I don't know if it's a regular ongoing thing. This was a, is a unique yeah. event in the district. Yeah. Any of those um, where we really mm -hmm. should be at. Again, that, that opportunity when you have an opportunity to partner and advocate and be someone who is on the ground in that community mm -hmm. to explain some of the pieces mm -hmm. that they might, folks might not be attuned to because you're not living in it every day. I think our sensitivity, you know, 
is all here and communicate it, that we want to be aware, we want to know what's going on, our sensitivity to how we know, you know, is also raised today so that we can monitor and make sure our aides are monitoring um, and engaged. And I do see Victoria, so I'm not going to wrap up yet. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Yeah. And, yeah, also Mary. Mary jo. Well, I think it really comes down to, I mean, in some ways common sense. If there is a district specific meeting being called by Ramsey County, make sure the commissioner knows it. Especially if they're expected to be there. But they need to I need to know. And so because a calendar is fine for kind of the bigger things, but if the expectation um, I mean that's pretty straightforward. You shouldn't have to go to the calendar to find that out. District should, specific um, what you meetings that are coming in. But the other thing is, and, and I've heard it more than once, and it kind of rubs me wrong, is staff saying, well, don't worry, we'll bring you along. I, yeah. I haven't said that though today. I'm no, you haven't. Sure. <laughs> but that, but <laughs> it happens, and it's like, okay, you're bringing me along, and, and on policy issues, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Um, I've heard it more often than I like, and I try not to let it bug me, but it's like, okay, who's really um, in charge? I mean, this is not something where, oh, I should just sit back and, and wait for you to tell me what I'm supposed to do. That's not the way this works. We're the leaders. So this again, point. you know, this is, this is really about communication and making sure that we're heard on this issue. I believe that we've been heard on this issue going to what you just stated. If it's in district, we want to know. There's information, you know, that is in public places that we can check. But if it's district specific, we got to know. That sounds uh, can, that I ask, sounds can I ask good. one piece though? Because Madam Chair, because there's a time when actually there it's I, I understand, by the way, like having been in different roles here, I understand you. Yeah. Like I, I'm not trying to, I, I would make phone calls and talk to you about things in districts. So I totally get it. On a practical side, though, I would ask, if possible, if you can have someone from your office once a week review the Ramsey yes. County calendar for the month. And the reason I say that is every office determines what is significant, mm -hmm. whether in district or countywide, mm -hmm. differently. Mm -hmm. So a WIB event is not in district, but it's a bigger deal. And there becomes this weird thing where right. every staff member is trying to understand how each office approaches it a little bit differently. That's mm -hmm. not to say in districts, you know, those, those, I get there's a certain subset, but there's also a bigger thing that happens here. and. It, there's a part of the behavior where I've learned I have to use the calendar. In my role, it's not, because what I used to think the calendar was, was only Santa skates. And what I've realized is no, like we are literally trying to put every meeting we are doing on oh. it. And if you go onto it with an eye for the things you're looking for and you go to calendar view, you can very quickly see the month and say, 95% of this I'm not worried about, but these five, whoa, right? Mm -hmm. And I would, I would just ask that, that would be really helpful from commissioner offices to be helping to monitor that as well. Yeah. Um, and we won't be perfect. perfect. None of us yeah. will be right. perfect, yeah. but we are really working but to ensure sure. things that should right. just be obvious. Well, that, just, that there's good two I just way briefly look at it. Yeah. Yeah. For instance, there's nothing on there about any public works open houses. I don't know if we have any scheduled right now. There's one coming There's one tomorrow. And so this would be a miss. So like this is what I'm saying is as we're yeah. curing this stuff. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And so that so, I so that, believe that we are not. Oh, that's the one you're talking about. I believe we're not perfect, but that that's why we're having this conversation so that we can get a lot better in the two-way communication. It's important that we know, and it's important that you know, and the conclusion I'm taking from this, you know, even as we heard about the county manager asking us to copy, department directors, DCMs, and him, you know, that what I'm taking away from this is that all kinds of things can escape us. You know, and we just need to all respect our need for two-way communication in district um, and district-specific meetings are important to us. You know, all our meetings are important to us. So we're going to check those sites where we can get information on a regular basis, and we're going to ask for consideration of those special meetings. And you don't have to figure out everybody's interests. But if it's in my district and district specific, I'd like a reach out. Yeah. You know, I think that's very important for each one of us. So I want to just conclude this meeting because I, it is I, late. Oh, oh point. I'm sorry. sorry. 
Um, just just a, a, something for us to think about, and I know this is, this is a little bit, I want to add something to this list and just, just to ask people to think about it. So what happens is, is, is I do a lot of updates, as we know, in the board meeting, but there's some certain things I'd like to talk to you all about that I'm not going to do it at a board meeting, and, and I could just call each one of you on the phone, which is very time consuming. And um, so like, I'm just going to use this as an example. Um, that I'm doing a webinar on behalf of Ramsey County for NACO on Thursday around the public health accreditation. So I was going to just ask all of you, say, do you have any thoughts on what I should say about our role in the accreditation process? And I can talk individually, and some of us will have something to contribute, and some of us won't. And, um, but I'm wondering if after every board meeting, I'm just throwing this out, and you can, you know, think about it, that we, we're going to almost come down here anyway for a workshop or something, 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 I don't know what open meeting laws say about this, but that we would have a, a few minutes when we could just talk about anything else that might be coming up, where we wouldn't have to call each each person individually, like where we would just have a little more in depth. I'm, 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 there's certain things I do want to go into more in depth about upstairs, but I don't know that it's that it needs to happen on camera or anything. But it might be an event I went to where I'd say, you know, and this happened at this event. I'd sort of like to run it by you all. I'm not going to probably call each one of you up about it. But it would be something I would want to have a little deeper conversation about. Anyway, just wondering is as we're doing our calendar, we've all said we're going to commit to Tuesdays. If when we come down here, we have a few minutes, I, I, I don't know how it looks, you know, but that we have a few minutes each week when we can just have a conversation. Now, obviously, we have to post these things because we'll we can. Have an audience. And we'll have an audience. So, you know, I'm, I'm struggling with what it is. But I see, like right now, how I don't do you mind having it? it right here. I mean, you know, it's right here. We just say, Board, board discussion after a board meeting and we don't put a topic on it or anything and I, I just don't know but it would be really helpful to me I, I mean I love this way that we can talk to each other and like I said things come up in some of my meetings that I would love to run by you all mm -hmm. so just just putting it out there about Thank when you that, for putting about it when that could happen yeah. um, you know we're doing all issue specific things in all of these areas but this is sort of just like open open discussion a more informal, not at the yeah, board meeting. Yeah, informal, meetings. not at the board meeting discussion. So we have board discussions, which we keep a, a date for. Right, and they're all but specifically, that's more and specific. they're issue specific, yeah. right. Or else we have to schedule something. Like Raphael wants to tell us about goal line, great, you know, tell us right now. Uh -huh. Anyway, just a, a weekly, informal, 10 minute, you know, touch base. Thank you for the suggestion, you know, any mm -hmm. other, other thoughts about that? I just think, honestly, we have so much structured time, and if we're going to have, I mean, if you have a question about, or you want to talk about that, it's not like you can't do that right. in, um, it, yeah, I mean, as far as the accreditation or anything else, I mean, hey, Mary Jo, I, you know what I heard about at Queen Water Council yesterday? I mean, I right, don't, but I want to talk I don't to know the, everybody about it. I don't want to just do individually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. That yeah, is, I mean, I, I know I, I can I, I guess that. I just think that some things just have to happen naturally. And mm -hmm. saying, okay, we're going to have 10 minutes to discuss whatever we want to discuss seems a little um, artificial to me. Maybe maybe it well, is something well, that we well, hear right now. It it won't let's happen. hear it and Yeah, I just take worry time. that it doesn't happen naturally. You let's know, hear we don't it. see each other. Let's hear that concern, right. but really but yeah. take time to think yeah. through I mean, it just, as just we think move about forward. It. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm trying to, you know, I mean, we all have a, there's kind of a continuum here of what our expectations right. are, right. You know, whether it's age or communication, mm -hmm. all those type of stuff, yeah. trying to find the sweet spot mm -hmm. so that eyes wide open and mm -hmm. no one gets yeah. one sided and yeah. but then the manager right. and his team have, you know, right. kind of find that sweet spot, right? It's not going to be perfect for yeah. everybody, but so that we can mm -hmm. work in a healthy way with our management. You know, your example of trying to find another way to have maybe a conversation, I think your example is really good. Mm -hmm. You know, another way to do that is, you know, in your update upstairs is, mm -hmm. you know, I'm participating in a webinar next yeah. week for NACL right. on public health accreditation. If anybody's got some information, was a part of that when yeah. we got accredited, you know, I'd love to hear Let your thoughts know. offline yeah. because not all of us That's are going to have that, right? But you, you threw it out there. Yeah. You gave everybody an opportunity to okay. do that. 
in a way, but yeah. not continuing yeah. to pile on things here that might not add yeah. value to everybody. Okay, that's a thoughtful. Yeah, I like that. Let I me just know want to ask that though. I love having conversations like this. Yeah. We have to be because we're leaders. We have to be careful because if we have an audience of staff, I know they will hear our questions or us thinking out loud as directives. And now we've lost control, and Ryan's lost control, and people are moving because we heard us talking about something. So we have to be careful. Yeah. I, I get caught in this all the time, I know. brainstorming out loud, and someone acts, and it's like, well, I was just thinking. <laughs> so <laughs> we can't do yeah, that. Yeah, you're right. So. Yeah, I just yeah. had to put it out there. But thank you. That's all yes. good. That's all so, good yeah. feedback, okay. and that's but, true. But, yeah. yeah, but I appreciate, I appreciate so. all that. Listen, I really do appreciate everyone participating and sharing your thoughts around this communication because it really is important. Mm -hmm. You know, and even though we haven't gotten to a point where everything is agreed upon, we've been heard. You know, I know that the county manager will continue to work through what works best for us. You know, even though you're trying to systematize things, so it doesn't depend or rely on one person to know everything about all of us which is important, you know, we appreciate your nods about trying to meet us at the middle where things are district specific and important to us. We realize it's not gonna be perfect. You also have asked us to communicate uh, more to you because more is better. And we're gonna try to do that. We're not gonna be perfect either. And so, and using good judgment, of course, all of us will, will adhere to your need for that kind of communication. And I just want to say thank you to everybody for this yeah, participation. You. You've got your list. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's be honest. I love that. Thank All right. Take care. Thanks. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks, Ryan. Claudia Stingles is <laughs> 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 Claudia Stingles is <laughs>